this video we'll be looking into the most important questions or topics to cover for software testing exam so starting from the first module here um, the basic definitions of um, few terminologies would be asked like error fault failure incident test reliability usability software testing what is a test suit and um, other things so each one definition could comprise of one one mark so it could be asked for either um, like it could be six marks six or four or eight and two or five five also so it depends but make sure that you uh, go through all the definitions present in first module okay next we have different measures in software quality this is again a four mark question on like there are six to seven points to write that's uh, the same reliability usability all that okay next we have uh, test and debug cycle so there's a diagram for this test and debug cycle explain testing and debugging process so this could be asked for 10 marks because um, you need to draw the diagram and explain all the terminologies properly. Then we have functional versus structural testing, black box, white box testing, differences and we need to explain the differences with Venn diagram. Okay, So this could be asked for again 10 marks. Then we have test generation strategies. So this could be asked for 6 marks. Then we have what is test metric and what are the various test metrics uh, associated with the software testing. So there are 4 to 5 test metrics. Uh, but here we need to explain two or three. Okay, so if asked, so this can again be of 10 marks. Then we have uh, element and inspection of static testing. Under static testing topic, we have inspection and element. So make sure you cover this point, uh, this topic. This could be asked for five or 10 marks. Then the main part uh, out of these, one question would be definitely asked. Okay, triangle problem is must. Okay, make sure you uh, know the traditional implementation, the lengthy code. Along with that, the flowchart is there. So make sure you know both of them. Either this could be asked for 10 marks or the structural implementation that is the program 2, the shorter version with diagram. So this could be asked for 10 marks. Out of these two, one will be there sure short. Okay. Next we have next date function. In next date function, only the pseudo code must uh, has to be written. So I hope you all know the pseudo code uh, because we'll be using the pseudo code in second module, third module and all. So this is again a must question. And here coming to these three, one among these three would be asked or two could be asked for 10 marks. So commission problem, basic introduction and uh, we have currency converter again, basic introduction and uh, windshield wiper uh, controller. So out of these three, one would be asked for 10 marks or two could be asked for 10 marks or uh, next date function. If it is asked, it will be asked for 10 marks only. So I would say that first module has like standard questions. Okay. Starting from this, because there's a diagram in this, this will be asked. Then we have the functional versus structural testing Yes, again this we have Venn diagram here so again this is important coming to the next topic is the static testing again this is important then we have these uh, problems here so one two three and triangle problem problem for sure and out of these out of these one would be asked and next date function is uh, of course you should know it for further modules so this was about module one let's look into module two now so module two topics are there are only three or four main topics and out of that each topic has uh, we have to like uh, perform testing for each and every um, problem okay so firstly we have boundary value testing what uh, its analysis types and limitations this could be a theoretical question uh, this uh, you need to write okay so this could be of four marks or six marks okay next we have bva boundary value testing in that triangle problem or next state problem or commission problem so this is must so i would say that if you are going through these bva ect and dt if you are going through the techniques then you, you will definitely understand the theory so you need not emphasize on theory that much because uh, it is easier to write um, if you know how boundary value testing works you can easily say what are the limitations what are the advantages and what are the types of boundary value testing how many types do you have all that okay so bva for triangle problem next rate commission must then we have equivalence class testing, its definition types. Only if you know the definition and types, you can uh, derive the test cases for triangle problem, next state and commission problem. Then we have the decision table. Decision table is one of the easiest topic. Uh, if you get decision table in exam, I would suggest you to write decision table only. I'll be uploading module wise videos in which I'll detailly explain each and every step. Okay. So make sure um, you subscribe to my channel and uh, you, are, you are active in the channel. Okay. Next we have fault based testing. What are the assumptions? So this is again a, a important theory topic. Okay. So in second module, there'll be one uh, problem. Uh, either it could be BVA or ECT or DT. And one more problem could be theory. It could be five, five marks out of these three, any definitions types could be asked. And along with that fault based testing assumptions could be asked. So this is my assumption because that's how uh, questions were asked from second module in internals. So let's move on to the third, third module. So third module, again, we have certain topics here. So fixed topic. So firstly, we have definition of path testing in path testing um, program graph in program graph. We'll be looking into the triangle problem. 
then triangle problem in program graph or triangle problem in dd path out of these two one would be asked then we have test coverage matri matrices and metric uh, based testing so this is again important then we have basic path testing again uh, definition writing for it then we have essential complexity essential complexity is again a uh, important topic but uh, yeah this could be asked for five marks this could be asked for five marks five marks we are also five marks but then these two out of these two it will be surely of 10 marks only next data flow testing for commission problem uh, we should write the du path calculation define uh, use testing this is again we have studied this in um, lab exam right so again this is a must question this will be asked for 10 marks next we have slice based testing that is again for commission problem so this this or this out of these two one could be asked for 10 marks then we should write the note on uh, guidelines and observations about data flow testing which is a five mark question okay so this was about third module i would say module 1 2 3 are uh, easier ones so if you cover majorly if you cover triangle problem how to write triangle problem what are the basic preconditions how does it work and commission problem along with that we have next date function if you know these now you can easily uh, write or apply the testing methods here moving on to the fourth module we have alternate life cycle so firstly give an introduction about uh, waterfall method and waterfall uh, cycle and then uh, you can speak of uh, alternate life cycle so there are three to four alternate uh, alternate life cycle so you should write all those then we have context diagram level 1 uh, data flow diagram for uh, uh, satm system yeah this is again important question so this could be asked for 10 marks here this uh, as this is a lengthy answer this can again be asked for 10 marks so as far as um, what i have seen in internals it is mostly there'll be one um, testing and other one could be like a theory question or um, like we need to explain certain topics or advantages disadvantages or other assumptions uh, write a note and all all sorts of theory questions next we have decomposition tree for satm this is again a important topic 10 marks for sure then we have unit call graph for satm decomposition based integration using graph based approach so if you have studied this graph based approach it is pretty important so this again 10 marks then we have call graph uh, based integration neighborhood and pairwise definitions and uh, uh, like implementation also 10 marks then we have mm path mm path definition what is mm path complexity and mm path implication in application in satm system so uh, i would say that if you cover these six questions in uh, fifth, fourth module you will be thorough with it and along with this goes the other theory um, definitions and advantages disadvantages all of that okay so make sure these are the main questions which you cover in uh, fourth module followed by this cover the other topics also now we'll look into fifth module fifth module again we have standard set of questions make sure that you go through all the topics i would say that in fifth module um, there are certain complex topics because um, like drawing the fsm like final state machine diagram for the satm problem and other questions are also there but uh, make sure you cover these seven topics first and then you can look into other questions so firstly we have functional strategies for threat testing considering all relevant parameters so this or structural strategies for threat testing that is bottoms up there are many other things so out of these two one could be asked for 10 marks then you have the dynamic interactions in multiple processes uh, again 10 marks or the static versus dynamic interactions uh, in static interactions in multiple versus single processor then you have uh, client server testing a, a diagram explaining that then what is interaction testing what are the taxonomy of interaction along with that defining the terms of interaction decomposition and determinism so this is again important one then we have edpn and also consider the thread structure so uh, these are a few of the important questions uh, besides that this what are threads what are the requirement specification how to find threads Uh, like structural all these we have discussed then satm test threads uh, like how to derive the satm uh, test threads what is ef esf testing what are the examples of esf te uh, testing and uh, yeah that's it. that's about the first chapter second chapter questions we have discussed here what is uh, interaction testing and um, client server topic so these are the important topics from um, software testing subject uh, stay tuned i'll be uploading module wise videos explaining covering all the important questions all the important topics so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments this pdf would be available in the g drive um, description the link is available in the description if you have any doubts do let me know and uh, stay tuned thank you